um, Sana. So, Sana, how did you feel about phonetics before you came to the phonetics support and development training? Sorry, is that Sana or Sana? <laughs> it's 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 uh, no, it, it's it's Viking Sana. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was not actually intending to do the phonetics, but something um, came to me just the day before and I was like, okay, I'm meant to do this uh, course. Um, so it was all a bit rushed. I'd, I, I didn't have any preparation done, um, but I knew I was meant to be there. Um, yeah, I got really interested because I live in Ireland and so I was look, looking at the the Gaelic names, the Irish names and also the relation to the land here. That got me really interested. Um, and I actually really loved the, the whole training. Uh, I, I found it really fascinating. And um, yeah, and, and I realised afterwards that it's really important um, to understand this system on this level because it's bringing, kind of opens up much more um, depth, I think, and ability to serve my clients. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Canadians, Anna, how was the training for you? Uh, it was really good. Um, you know, with my name being uh, so such a phonetic challenge that it uh, it's really uh, it was really helpful to understand um, kind of just uh, how dramatically the chart changes and the energetics change once we uh, overlay the phonetics or uh, interpret it with the phonetics in it and stuff. So um, definitely really helpful to help um, kind of get a more in depth and layered kind of perspective on. Um, our charts and our clients' charts when uh, with the with the help of phonetics for sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, Giliana, how was the training for you? Given you've got a very multicultural client base now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, I want to know. <clears throat> goodness, let's start that again. <laughs> you can cut that out. Um, I, um, you know, I want to know everything that there is to know about this work. So. I was very interested in taking the phonetics course, but interestingly enough, I didn't have any foreign clients. However, as soon as I took the course, um, the, you know, the floodgates opened and now it, it, you know, almost every other client has some kind of a phonetic name associated with it. So um, it's, I, I'm glad I have the tools and the knowledge of how to, uh, tr you know, translate the names and it doesn't, scare me or make me feel like oh gosh what am I going to do with you know with this client they already paid me I have to figure it out so um it's just given me a lot more confidence and it's another piece of this work that I think is really important if uh you know not, not if but but for the readers to have so I would definitely highly recommend it okay thank you Timothy you able to give me sound there Yes. Okay. How how was the um, how was the training for you going? Um, as I say, I don't really see uh, a particular calling for this. But I'm not Giliana. I want to know everything around this uh, soul contact uh, modality. So I really do enjoy the the puzzle aspect uh, for want of repeating myself, and I do keep volunteering myself out to learn more. So yeah, it's. Uh, it's something different alongside the usual reading. So I'm anxious to start getting somebody who's uh, French, German, anything like that. So, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hilary. Yeah, this is really important training. As, as I've gotten into the soul contract work, I really wanted to dig deep and, and learn everything about it. And I don't have many clients that come to me with names but as soon as i signed up for the course i seem to be tapping into germany and with my norwegian heritage i have been really interested in in doing the translations on those names so i really enjoyed the training it's 
really opens everything up and the meaning of, of the language and the words, it's, it's very powerful. So I highly recommend it. Okay, thank you. Talita. Hi, well, for me, I'm with the majority. I want to know everything about where, where is, uh, to know about the work, this work, because I just love it. I love the, the detective aspect of it. I love the puzzle aspect of it. And uh, for me, the majority of my clients, they are Brazilian, uh, Portuguese or Portuguese from Portugal. So there was a very, I was waiting for this course to happen because I, I needed it for my clients and I needed it for me. And I feel that knowing it, uh, it goes a little bit more deeper to, to you know, telling people what the real chart is. So it was, it was fabulous for me. Okay, thank you. Felucia, how, how was the course for you? Um, I didn't know what to expect. I just had a, a gut feeling that it was an important uh, part of the complete picture of the work. So in order to be a practitioner and to be a good service, I, I signed up to do it. <laughs> it's quite um, technical and takes quite a little of, of effort and I'm still getting through that. Um, but in order to sort of achieve what I want to achieve, it's necessarily part, an interesting part and I give myself time to learn it, uh, to get into it, uh, to live with it so that I can be of service. And that's where I'm at. Okay, thank you. Mel. Yes, the course was great. Um, I am a lifelong learner like many of the others here in the room as well. And so the more tools and resources I have to be able to use in my um, tool chest, prepares me better for the souls that come across my path. That way I don't uh, have any hiccups and I can just connect to um, my own inner higher self and soul and connect with theirs and deliver to them the information that their soul needs to hear. Okay, thank you, Mel. Thank you everybody for sharing that. Great, appreciate it.